know, you can say it's a Tuesday night in March, but that was a good win for our team. Um, you know, down 4 nothing with maybe four innings left to play, something like that. And, uh, you know, their, their pitcher did a great job. And, you know, he's, he's been more of a reliever. Uh, he's a senior. He threw like 20 pitches on Friday, I think, against K-State. I think he threw seven pitches on Sunday. And I'm sure he told the coach, hey, give me the ball against Arkansas. And he didn't throw the ball in the middle of the plate. And I threw the ball 87 miles an hour on both sides. And we had into three double plays, and it just kind of started looking like maybe this wasn't our night. And we stayed strong, and, and I believe in this offense. And we just felt like if, if guys wouldn't try to do too much, take a walk, hit a single, go the other way, you know, then somebody might pop one. And uh, obviously, that's kind of what happened there in the sixth. And, uh, Wagner got him a breaking ball and just crushed it and uh, put us down a run. And then an out or two later, Borfin hit that fastball out of the park. And, you know, we felt really good about it. Uh, then in the seventh, we don't turn double play. We got to turn that double play. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll get that done next time. Uh, kind of changed momentum a little bit, but we didn't get all uptight about it. And then uh, obviously there in the, in the eighth inning and – you know, with the big, you know, I think we had a hit by pitch and uh, with one out. And then, when I, I mean, Borfin going that way, the other way, after pulling a home run, just showed me a lot of maturity um, to, to kind of just to pass it on to the next guy. You know, he could have tried to hammer that ball. He might have hooked it right at the second baseman, but he just took that middle away fastball and smoked it through the six hole and said, okay, Kendall, it's your turn. And he didn't waste any time. When he hit it, I knew he hit it good. But just the way the wind was, um, I didn't know if it had enough. And that thing, you know, that thing kept going. And, uh, yeah, it was a big swing. So uh, great job by, you know, really all the pitchers. You know, you got Parker Coyle, freshman, facing – some older kids. I mean, they had all all seniors and juniors in the lineup for the most part, except the eight and nine hole hitters. They were both freshmen, and you know he he made a few mistakes and they made him pay. Built a little lead on us, but he kept fighting. Uh, gave the ball to Led better that I felt like got better as as innings went on, and then and then and then Dylan just pitched great and and gave us an opportunity to climb back in the game. And uh, you know even there in the, in the ninth, he had to go through their boys and. Uh, you know, they hit some balls hard that were caught, but we had a bunch that were caught early too. So, uh, good win for our team. That's the way I feel about it. Looked pretty hazy from upstairs. I, I just wonder what kind of effect it had down on the field. We didn't. We didn't really. It didn't bother us. I mean, I didn't. I, I, don't, I haven't talked to the outfielders about it, but it wasn't. I didn't feel like it was keeping anybody from seeing spin on the ball or anything like that. My guess is there's a controlled burn somewhere going on, and uh, they forgot to check with us, you know. No, but uh, anyway, I, I, is that what was going on? <laughs> anyway, yeah, so whatever. And then you mentioned the double plays. That's five and two games now. What do you think that says uh, that your offense has been able to score enough runs to win both of those yeah. games? Well, when you hit some balls hard, I mean, you think about the first when we hit into – well, maybe – I know one of them we hit really hard, just went right at him. Was that Brady or Jace? I, I mean, he smoked it. That's the luck of the game sometimes. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you don't get all too uptight, you know. Just let's put together an inning somewhere along the way. The key for us to do that was that our pitchers, pitchers settled it down a little bit and gave us a chance to, to crawl back in, you know. When you hit into a double play, you're down two to nothing and it's – First and third, that that hurts. The other the other ones are well, runner on first, one out, nobody out, whatever. Those don't sting quite as much, but when you don't get that RBI or get even get a run out of it, uh, that's that's a big momentum swing. And and we we almost had that. We should have had that, but we didn't do it. And we'll get it done next time. Yeah, they brought in the lefty that was throwing pretty hard, and I think the guy behind him was throwing it pretty. Had some velo too. Was it almost a relief for the lineup to see some guys like that because that's what they're more used to seeing? Well, I think it was – I would say probably yes, by the way, we hit the ball. Um, 
you know, but, you know, when you think about it, um, the ball that, that Jared hit was breaking ball, and he fouled off fastball, was right on it, I felt like, and then, or something like that, and then, you know, he hammered that breaking ball. Uh, so, I think the velocity, yeah, I just think it was more the first guy just changed speeds on our lefties, but he didn't throw the ball over the plate much. He was right on the edges, and, uh, you know, he just pitched. But, yeah, I'm sure they, they can time that, that 92, 93 up better than they can 86, 87 because we don't see it a lot. Then at the end of the game, it looked like you had a couple freshmen throwing down in the bullpen. I believe it was Fitzpatrick and possibly Fouch. Was Fouch one of the guys you were hoping that you might could get in this game? And just what was the thought process with yeah, those two we guys? We're going to get Fouch in the game. He's got really good stuff. You know, with some of the injuries and stuff, we're going to have to get some some innings out of some of these young guys. And uh, really didn't want to bring him in in that situation. Fitzpatrick was the one that we had talked about, uh, you know, today getting men against – one or one of those lefties or both of them because those are two of their better guys obviously and but then when it came down to the lefty was up he's the tying run we just I just told coach I said we we can't take Carter out even though maybe it's a better matchup left on left but Carter deserves to have an opportunity to get this guy out if he doesn't the worst can be it's tied up we'll beat him in the bottom of the ninth um you know then and then if he gets on somehow then they got a right hander up, and we'd wish we had Dylan back out there. So, um, you know, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't, but there is some thought going into it. Looks like they're two and three hitters combined to go seven for nine. What'd you think of those two guys? <laughs> is that what it was? Thanks for telling me. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. Like I said, they're uh, you know they're their first baseman, um, senior at Army probably full-grown man and uh he showed us that in the first inning when he said you want to throw me a breaking ball I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit it out of the park into the wind we we're kind of like wow so uh yeah so they were they were a little scary right in there they're gonna win a lot of games Kendall Diggs hadn't played in just a whole lot of games for you during his career and he's had three game winning hits now what does that say about him well I think the good what Kendall's done is he hasn't taken his previous at bats to the plate. I mean, he didn't do a double play ball. I think his first time up on a first pitch was a fastball, and they threw him a change up. I think I don't know. He he didn't have the night he wanted to have, and uh, he stayed strong. And you know, they remember what you did last, and that last one was beautiful. So uh, I think he's he's been clutch and. Uh, it's, it's been sneaky power. I think he's got four home runs now. He's got <clears throat> double-digit home runs. I think he's started all the games except maybe two. And, uh, you know, he's hit righties really well. He hits lefties, and he's done a good job. Last two years, there have been a lot of these Tuesday games that have come right down to the wire. Do you, do you think it says something about the, the fact that you, you get the other team's best shots when they come in here? <laughs> well, we talk about that. We're going to get the other team's best shots. They – I mean, they traveled down here from Manhattan, Kansas, after playing a few games and kind of a round robin type tournament, and they they would have made their trip. They they could beat us, and um, you know now they're heading back. I think they play Wright State this weekend, our last week's opponent. So uh, we yeah we feel like we're going to get everybody's best shot. I mean, we've had a lot of success lately. We have a beautiful ballpark. We have great fans. And they want to beat us. Whoever we play, they want to beat us. You have an update on Cody Frank? Yeah, um, his season's over, and uh, you know he's going to have some something a procedure done on uh, on uh, Monday. Uh, don't ask me to describe it, but uh, try to get him ready for next year. Um, you're looking for a midweek starter. Uh, what do you, you think? Coyle's still in the mix now. Yeah, I think so. I mean, he had, a, he had some hitters. When he throws the ball to the edges, he's good. And he's got a better curveball than he showed. And we saw a really good curveball in the fall. Uh, I just think that, I mean, you look at him, you can tell how young he is. And he needs a little time. Um, I mean, next week we've got two midweek games against a team that can score. So um, somebody's got a pitch. And you know, it's good to see him go out there and give us four. Is that what it was? almost four and I think that he learned some things tonight he made some mistakes with two strikes and gave up some hits and a two out 
two strike RBI and um, that gave him that third run. And you know, I think you got to learn. You got to get better. And you know, hoping each outing he gets better. Hey, Oliver says get material on Louisiana Tech. So okay. on Lane and those guys, what do you think? Yeah, well, you know, obviously they they were they're a regional type team. Um, Playing a really good conference, they're always at the top, one, two, or three, and uh, you know they've they've been close to getting to super regionals. And you know their head coach Lane Burles is a is a good friend of mine. I feel like he coached with me for a little bit, and um, I mean there was some interest in him. They their schools tried to pull him away from Louisiana Tech last year. He stayed he stayed put and. You know, he's got good players, and they do a great job. They're very – they're tough. And, uh, I mean, I think they've got a they've got a pitcher back that pitched on Friday against us a couple of years ago. So, big lefty. And, uh, you know, so they're, they're going to have some experience on the mound. You mentioned Lane Burroughs. Obviously, you guys are friends, but you've also played a lot over these last few years. I was just wondering what that dynamic's like. And, you know, there's been some really tight, you know, tense games between you two teams. Has there ever been any, like, weird moments? Or just kind of what's that relationship been like over the years? I, I'm not going to say there's ever been any weird moments. I don't know what you mean by that. <laughs> weird. Uh, that's a strange word, right? But, uh, you know, there's been some really good games, um, some drama. I mean, two years ago or whenever we were down there when uh, – the Friday night game went extra innings. I think Battles hit a home run in the top of the 10th. We won the game. Saturday, we played really well. I think we won that one. And then Sunday, we, uh, you know, the wind was changed completely. The direction was blown straight in, and it was a tight game. Uh, I just remember we had a couple guys on base, and we flew to the, to the wall dead center to end it, into the wind. And it was one of those – it was just a good series. I, I liked it when, when when it worked out that they would come right before conference play. You know, uh, probably for both of us, I would think their starts too. But I just think it's a, it's a good way to get a really, really good feel for what it's going to be like the next weekend when we play Auburn as far as, you know, SEC play, experience team. Remiss if I didn't ask about kind of having Army down here and doing the whole Military Appreciation Day and all the kind of extra stuff that goes with games like this. Yeah, I mean, there's a little extra today. Um, you know, I mean, it's uh, – I think that our players recognized it, that, you know, it's it's a little different when you go to a school like Army. It's – you know, you're – it's – I mean, you're representing everybody. And they get a lot of – I mean, you could tell that our fans were – they wanted us to win, but they probably were okay if we lost. That's kind of the sense I had, you know, because we were playing Army. Um, you know, you just – you respect it. You respect those guys over there. And I, I like the way they play, no nonsense, little attitude. And I like our guys to play like that. And, uh, yeah, it was uh, – it might have looked laid back from the stands, but it was it was pretty intense on the field. And uh, I don't know. Like I said, it's, it's the first time we've had them in here. We haven't had – you know, I think we played Navy my first year here, maybe in '03, um, early. But it's, uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I, I, I hope that they will come back in the future. Did Tiger's evaluation yesterday confirm the five to six week timeline? That's what we got out of it. Yes. Okay. Yes. So. And then you're you're adding a, a second pitch clock back behind home plate how much do you think that'll help your your pitchers or any well pitcher? i mean that way i don't have to turn around and look at it and uh hopefully it matches up with the with the one in the in the outfield and hopefully it works you know we had some things not work today and uh, but yeah i mean then they can be looking to get oh i better hurry up or whatever they need to do and if there's runner on they can they get a reset if they need it they can just step off and we're good to go you know if it's the first one on that hitter so it's definitely going to help. I, I truly believe that. And, and, you know, we didn't have to do it this year, and I imagine a lot of the teams won't. Um, but I, I think it makes sense. You mentioned yesterday Nate Thompson might not be here Friday. Is, is that confirmed and you're going to coach yeah, third? Yeah, you know, his, his, uh, his uncle passed away. So I might have been kidding that I was going to coach third. Uh, but, you know, we'll see. Yeah, Coach, I, I know we've talked about Dylan Carter a lot, but now that you know Frank's done for the year, just how big is it that Dylan's come on so strong recently? It's been huge. Uh, I mean, he, he's he been throwing extremely well. 
I mean, he, he threw a couple breaking balls today from the side. They look nasty. Uh, spotting his fastball, 92, 93, and challenging up, mixing, and uh, he's got a good changeup. And he threw a couple good ones, could threw a couple that got away from him, but I thought he pitched really well, and it's big. We got to have, we got to have a couple more. We got to have a couple more guys. Okay.